Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new vlog. So this video is going to be a little bit different to any that I've done in the past and it's kind of like a spontaneous video. I, I wasn't planning on making this video at all. So it's going to be like a gardening slash plant with me vlog for like a modern country garden aesthetic. And yeah, like I said, we weren't, I wasn't planning on making a video like this, but we spontaneously went to the garden centre this morning and picked up a lot of plants. So I thought that I would just show you all of the pretty plants that we bought. I'm going for like a white whimsical theme in the garden. And I've also got some new planters to show you as well from the basket company, which are absolutely gorgeous. So I'll show you those in today's vlog as well. If you come from Instagram, you'll know that we're currently in the process of redoing our whole garden. It was just like a blank canvas when we bought it and we're like adding a little path and like raised beds and decking and all sorts of things so I'm not going to show too much of the garden in today's vlog because I want to save it for like a garden tour like reno video that I've been taking little bits of clips for and that'll probably be coming in a month or so a couple of weeks I don't know whenever it'll get finished so today's video is just mainly going to be like flowers and planting and showing all the pots and things rather than like a whole tour of the garden so I'll take you outside now and show you what plants we picked up today. So here are all our little plants and trees and bushes that we got at the garden centre. It literally looks like we're selling plants in our back garden. There's so many, but we kind of went a bit OTT. But I just wanted like nice plants like to get the garden ready as it's so nearly finished. Like we've just got to add like a bit of stones there and a bit of decking and our furniture will be arriving soon. We've got a set for over there, a set for here. And it will just all come to, and I just feel like the flowers are like the finishing touch and just make it look all nice and pretty. So over here, we've just got some chili pepper and then just some normal pepper. Jake wants to start like a little veggie patch and like have a little herb garden and things. So we decided to get two of those just to start us off. And then here are all the different plants that we got. So we got this cute one called Malimba Double in white and it's meant to look like that when it's fully grown, which I love. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's just mud. I thought it was a spider. <laughs> and then these ones kind of remind me of geraniums, like the way the leaves look. They could be geraniums, I'm not actually sure. But yeah, that is how they look when they're fully grown. There's no flowers on those yet, but hopefully soon. And then we also decided to get two of these little hanging leafy plants. I just really like the colour of them and I liked how the leaves kind of look like little frilly like little frilly petals. I'll just turn the brightness down so you can see these flowers a bit better. Unfortunately, there's no names on this plant, so I don't actually know what they're called. I'm gonna to have to maybe get my Google Photos up. You can scan a picture and it tells you the name um, of these flowers, but I think they're so pretty. They look like little stars. And yeah, we got two with some flowers budding already. That one looks like it's going to start soon. So I thought they would look really lovely in our raised beds as well. And then moving over here on my little babies, I'm turning into a ripe plant mum. <laughs> so we got four of these, I think they're called campanulas, which I love. I think they are so pretty. There's so many white flowers all over them. So we got four of those and I feel like if we plant them all together in a planter, they could look really, really lovely and just like a nice option for like a low level plant planter if that makes sense and then we also got three of these flowers which are going to look really pretty when they're all out some of them are already starting to come out how pretty are those i love the white and pink so much and then we got six of these little flowers as well and jake told me that they kind of like grow a bit like what's the word i'm looking for a bit crazily so that they hang out of planters and they look really really nice so we may keep some of them for the raised beds or I may plant some of them at the bottom of a planter and then have like a larger tree or a bush and then have a few of these at the bottom um, I've seen a lot of that over on Instagram and I think it looks lovely sorry if you can hear the ice cream van these two at the back I'm really looking forward to apple blossom we've had apple blossom before and it just looks super pretty so hopefully when they've grown a little bit it will end up looking like the picture on the front so i've just realized that i've been reading all the labels wrong so i was going to call this a deco flower but i've just seen that it's actually petunia this is why i need like advice and like people's help when gardening i'll get into it just like i got into interiors i'll get into my gardening but yeah i need to do a bit of research on flower names but anyway we got four of these little petunia plants and even though the theme is going to be like white and whimsical we decided to get two of the white petunias obviously but then i love these light blue ones as well it's showing up a little bit 
purpley on camera but it is kind of like a really really light like cornflower like Bridgerton blue kind of colour so yeah we got two of those little blue ones just for a little pop of pastel and then we got four of these little Nemesia, Nemesia flowers and they just look super pretty don't they so we got four of those so they are all my little flowers and two peppers and I cannot wait to get these planted later on today moving on to the floor we also got one of these let's see what it is a shrub Philadelphus innocent shrub I just thought it looked super pretty with this little flower on and surely more are to come like up here they're starting to sprout so that will look really lovely I feel like that would be really nice for the raised bed so we'll probably put that one in there here we have a little fuchsia tree or a little fuchsia shrub and I just think fuchsias are so pretty there was all sorts of different colors and like darker ones but I just really love these ones really pale pink and white and it has so many buds all over it so I feel like that will look so lovely when all the buds have come out and it's got a name it's called Bella <laughs> so yeah she can be called Bella in our garden Bella the fuchsia bush Bella the bush <laughs> And then we also got this, I think it's called a lupin. Yeah, it says on the bottom, lupin West Country. And the colour of this is just so pretty. I don't know if more will start to like come out there at the top if it's still like opening up, I'm not sure, but I just really love the colour. And I think we're gonna put this one in the raised beds as well, just for like a little bit of height. I like things like low and high, just to like mix it up a little bit. So yeah, that was really, really pretty. I just love the baby pink color. Pink is my favorite. And then this is so pretty. It's my little daisy tree. It's probably not called a daisy tree, but that's what I'm gonna call it. In fact, it says it down here. Margaret, Margaret, Margaret. But yeah, I thought that was so lovely. Just so my vibe, like modern country vibe. I think it's super pretty. So we're definitely gonna pop that in one of our baskets from the basket company as well. So yeah, I'm super happy with them all and I can't wait to get them planted. And then here are my gorgeous baskets that were kindly sent over from the basket company. And yeah, I just love them so much. I can't wait to just like place them around the garden when the garden's completely finished. And I just feel like the wicker just creates such a lovely country modern whimsical vibe for your garden. I just love like a cottage core, like country garden look. That's just my favorite type of garden. And that's like the vibe we're going for with like the archway and the little windy path and things. So these are just gonna match perfectly. So I'll leave them linked down below for you to have a nosy at, but they're so good because they come lined with like bin bag material and then to like let the water seep out when you're planting plants in here you can just like snip a few a few holes at the bottom of the planter and it just allows the water to drain and not kill the plant so we've got these two square ones which i love and i just love this like rope detail around the edge as well i think that is so lovely so we've got a larger one here and then a smaller one i'm thinking maybe like a tree or like a small tree for the daisy tree or the fuchsia tree for this one with like maybe a few plants around the bottom and then a feel like I want to have like a few white pretty flowers like low level plants in this one sorry I just can't get the lighting right out here in the garden and then we've got three of these circular ones as well and I really love these ones as well I don't know if you can see properly but they've kind of like they're kind of like shaped like a plant part as you can see but this top bit is a little bit thicker it's got like a thicker rim at the top which I really like, I just think it adds like a bit of extra detail. So I've got two of these small ones and then a larger one as well. So we actually put our hydrangea from, where did I get it from now? Oh yeah, Home Bargained. We actually put our Home Bargained hydrangea in one of them just to see. And I feel like that is just so lovely, super, super cute. So I definitely think we'll plant the hydrangea in one of them. And then maybe a few little ditzy white flowers in that one. And then maybe something a little bit larger for the larger wicker basket. Yeah, I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. I love anything from the basket company. They also sent me over a new laundry basket as well, which I'll show in another video. And probably also, you've probably seen it on my Instagram as well by this point. But yeah, I just love the company so much. The baskets are always such good quality and yeah I just cannot wait to have these in my garden looking all pretty 
So we also got 14 of these little boxes, box hedges type things. I'm not really sure. I told you I'm not really good with plant names. But they're like little boxes, little box hedges. And we've got 14 of them to go all along the front of the house. Which will look so nice because we've literally just had soil there for ages. And Jake is so anal with all his measurements. <laughs> she got the tape measure out. <laughs> So yeah, we also got those from the garden centre as well. Our little boxed hedge is coming along nicely. Two more to go. So Jake's just planting the rest of our little plants in the raised bed so I thought I'd just show you a few close-up shots of the plants that we decided to put in the basket company planters. So here are all the round ones, we've gone for the hydrangea in one of the smaller ones and then we've gone for these like little ditzy white flowers for the other small one and I just love, let me come around the other side, I love how they just look so full in there really really pretty and then in the big planter we've gone for this little fuchsia shrub or fuchsia tree and hopefully that will just get bigger and bigger and keep growing and all these buds will come out but I love the colour of this one I think it looks so nice in the basket company planter and then moving on to this side obviously please excuse the mess of the garden and like the stuff all over the floor it's nowhere near done yet but like I said this was just like a gardening plant with me type video so here are the two square baskets from the basket company I love them so much I think they look so cute with the little rope handle so inside the larger square planter we've got the daisy tree which I love I wanted to get 10 of these but Jake wouldn't let me <laughs> but yeah one of them is pretty enough I love it so much it's so cute and then at the bottom because it was such a wide planter we've gone for two of these little white flowers what are they called bacopa two bacopa flowers which i think will also grow and start to like hang over the edge and then two of these plants i'm not sure of the name of them they kind of remind me of ivy with like the scalloped edging and the color but i don't think it is ivy but we thought the color matched well with the daisy tree so we planted two of those and two of the bacopa flowers and I love how that looks in the large planter. And then in the smaller planter, we've gone for, oops, four of the 
Nemesia. We've gone for four of those in the smaller planter and they just look really cute and like low level so it's nice to have like a little bit of height and then some that are a little bit lower and I think both of those together look so cute when like the surroundings are nice I cannot wait to take some snaps for Instagram and then I almost forgot to show you this one as well so this planter is from the basket company too but I got it quite a while ago you may remember in my wicker baskets um, YouTube video. So we've gone for this cute white star flower in there, just one on its own because it's quite a small planter and I just think that looks super cute. So when all the decking's done and everything, I feel like we might want some small planters and plant pots on the wall. So I feel like that will definitely be one of those. And then we've also got this terracotta planter that was kindly sent over from Primrose. I love the terracotta square shape, I think that's super cute. And we've got a rose bush in there from Morrison's with no roses on yet, so hopefully it starts to produce some roses soon. So this is our progress for the day. It's getting quite late now. We think we're gonna go in and get some tea and have a shower and stuff, but I really love how it's starting to look. Everything just looks super pretty. I love this looping. But yeah, some lovely progress for today and this area needs sorting out but maybe tomorrow. Hey everyone, so it's a week later and I've realized that I haven't actually filmed anything else for the garden video. I've got my little nieces here today. This little monkey. And this little monkey. I'm on camera. So we've got a really fun day planned with our lovely two little nieces. And yeah, I thought I'll just end the garden video here and show you a few updates. It'll be quite nice to see. Very noisy. This is what I'll be like when I've got kids. It would be quite nice for you to see like how the plants have grown and like what the garden looks like now. So I will head outside and show you the updates. <laughs> so we've got little Orla in the garden. As you can see, the raised beds are looking way better now. Like the trees and all the flowers, it's just looking like a little bit more put together. <laughs> so this is our, one of our little baskets from the basket company that, that I mentioned. What do you think? Good. Good. It's pretty, isn't it? And then we've got these ones in here and they're kind of turning a little bit purpley, aren't they? <laughs> so obviously we're not going to keep them here. Jake's just like moved them there for the time being. And then if I bring you over here, we had a little disaster. The fuchsia tree snapped off. We've had some really like windy conditions recently and the fuchsia tree snapped off and it was literally on the ground. So not really sure whether these bits left will produce more buds, but we'll see. And then these are my faves. Well, I love them all, but I really love these ones. The two square ones together. The daisy tree, we've had to put an extra stick in because it kept bending over. Honestly, these plants bending and <laughs> snapping. We're not gardeners at all. We need a lot of tips and advice, but yeah, everything's growing really nicely. We've not killed anything yet, apart from the fuchsia tree. So yeah, I love how they look in the square planters from the basket company. It's so windy today still, isn't it? Who are you pushing? Who's on the... Jason Donovan. Jason Donovan? No, Jason Donovan. So here's a little raised bed update. Flowers are starting to sprout. These ones are pretty, aren't they? Yeah. These pretty white and pink ones. I knew I I'd like those. Do you love them all? Yeah. <laughs> So we've got lots more growing now. This one's starting to flower a little bit more. What's over there? Wow, they're beautiful, aren't they? Which colour do you like? Cute. They're not watered yet. They are. And then these flowers, the, the ones that was calling the star flowers, I don't really know why, but like they're dying. But then like new ones are growing so I don't really know like if anyone can offer any advice about why that's happening or if it's meant to happen then do let me know. Um, these ones are starting to spread nicely, another little cute one there. And then same with our lupin here like I'm not really sure why it's got these brown bits on but like I said it's got another bit sprouting and starting to grow so again any advice welcome. <laughs> Oh look, do you see that one, Orla? The first little bit of apple blossom is starting to grow. That's exciting, isn't it? Look at this house. Is that your dinner? 
No. Who's it for? For the deer. <laughs> and then we also got this fabulous plant pot from Primrose. He kindly sent this over, so we're going to have to get like a really nice big plant or tree to go in there. I just really like the mishmash of pots. I feel like it looks really rustic and like modern country vibes. I love the wicker baskets matched with the terracotta parts, all different shapes and sizes. So yeah, that's the vibe we're going for. And hopefully in the next garden vlog, we will be able to walk along a nice windy path that doesn't look like a mess. We're wanting to get some stones for here and we're just gonna be able to walk all the way through and then around this area step up onto the decking so yeah i just cannot wait for that all to be finished and hopefully i will be able to update you in another video very soon also how cute is this garden arch from gardenesque so cute i just i knew i wanted like a whimsical like garden arch like modern country vibes i think that is so lovely i feel like we want to get some flowers to grow around it as well like very bridgerton vibes so if anyone's got any recommendations for what we can plant to grow like up and around let me know as well i've come back inside now as it was mega windy outside but i hope you enjoyed this style video i know it was a bit of a different style to my regular videos like it wasn't really home or fashion like the first garden vlog on my channel and thanks so much for watching and thank you if you got this far as well it really means a lot to me if you did like the video don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below let me know which flowers you like let me know any advice you can offer because honestly we are open to all the advice we can get and i will see you next week with a new video bye say bye bye and don't forget to subscribe to how many videos bye bye thanks for watching don't forget to like Comment and subscribe and for more videos. For more videos. Bye! Bye.